What is going on guys? Real Touch GML here back with another video for you guys and today I am showcasing a very old game of mine, Dead Ambush 2. This was made way back in the day when you would post your Game Maker games on Yo-Yo Games Sandbox and everybody was there. It was the addicting games of, of that time and uh, it was really cool. So this was the first game I was actually very proud of with myself. I had not followed any sort of tutorial, no guidelines or anything, and this is the first game where I actually had not followed any of those guidelines. It was all off of the top of my head. And uh, <clears throat> and I think I came out with a really cool product. Even to this day, it's really cool to go back and start playing these games of mine. So if you want to see more of these videos with just live gameplays, uh, just let me know in the comment section. And uh, yeah, let's begin. So Dead Ambush 2 basically a top-down zombie game so let me go ahead and hit play here okay so we got controls hold to shoot click to nuke that's right as you can see I did the graphics there and uh, WSD keys to move so pretty cool um, yeah so this is all new to me I, I really uh, don't remember any of this so okay well I, I mean I have a I have a vague remembrance so Cool, so I guess you just shoot these zombies here. Um, I remember putting the spotlight in. This was the first time I used any sort of lighting, I guess if you could call it lighting, uh, in a game. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Okay, so basically the zombies drop nukes, um, health, different things. And I believe the, the coolest thing out of all of this was the turret drop that you could pick up if I remember correctly and you could get in this turret and just mow down these zombies so pretty cool um, so yeah I guess we just shoot zombies here this was I made this game at a time when I was really into the game Nazi zombies on Call of Duty and I really wanted to make a zombie game like I really wanted to oh what is this oh cool you can speed up that's pretty cool um, so, yeah, I really wanted to make a zombie game, and, you know, I was a learning game maker at the time, and, you know, still am, but, you know, at the beginning stages, and, uh, um, made this. So, that is also why, if we look in the top left here, we have the kills. That was all inspired by Nazi zombies, where, you know, at the end of a game, it would show you how many kills you've had. I always thought that was really cool to be able to see like you know how many zombies you've actually mowed down over the course of however long you just spent working on uh, getting to the next round and um, oh okay so we got another zombie in here we got a like a pinky yellowish zombie which I guess just runs faster at you which is pretty cool so if we mow him down oh well I got the turret power up sweet so now I can definitely mow these guys down. This is really cool. If you guys want to play this game, the link is in the description. Um, <laughs> or I mean, if you if you gotten your fill just by watching this, then then that's fine by me. I, I just think it's really cool to go back and start playing my old games along with you know if you guys have made old games in the past, go check them out. It's really cool down uh down memory lane. And, uh, okay, wave four, we're on wave four here. I'm not actually sure how many waves there are, if it's infinite or not, I guess we'll find out. So just mow down these zombies, get my power up. So I was going to show you guys Dead Ambush 1, because this is Dead Ambush 2. And then I played it, and <laughs> what you're seeing now is about 50 times better than what that ambush one was that that was just uh, atro atrocious and if, if you want to play dead ambush one there's also a link in the description linking to dead ambush two but you could easily find it just on the um, just on the uh, on my page there so there is a turret power up but as you can see we just got a gun upgrade and the reason why I don't want to get that turret power up is because there was a glitch and this is actually my second time recording this that if you get your turret power up while your gun is upgraded there's actually a glitch where the turret stays there for the entire game 
and there's nothing you can do. So I, I mean, it, it's just there, you do it so many times, and uh, and there's a turret there for forever. So <laughs> that's that's cheating. So I had to, I had to replay it, and cool. So we're getting kind of like a stack of zombies here. We got our new zombie introduced, which is our um, green hulky zombie. I guess takes a lot a lot of shots to finish. Okay. If we use the nuke, if I hit right, as you can see, they all blow up in a firework type fashion, which is pretty cool. So you just kind of, you have to, uh, if you're kind of in a hot zone, you need to get out of it, then that's what you do. You just nuke out. So I'll throw these guys down here. All right, we're at wave eight, and it's getting kind of crazy. Let me use a nuke. We've got some more. Oh. I forgot about this. Nighttime had arrived. Interesting. <laughs> that is awesome. I had totally forgotten about that. So I think my strategy back then, when I told people how to play this, was save up your nukes for nighttime, and when nighttime comes, just just use your nukes a ton. Oh, <laughs> almost died there. And this is a pretty cool effect that I had going on here so many years ago. Oh, it's getting sketchy. Getting sketchy. I nuke it. Can't see anything. Oh, okay. And we're out. So we got a gun upgrade, which is like a browning or something. Very fast. If you notice on these red guys, if I get to them, I actually had, to, had them spawn back in this corner here. You see when they're going, they don't actually like really rotate towards the direction that they're going in. It's because I couldn't figure out how to code that back then, so I just I just left them just going through the level sideways. And I've learned at later levels, do not get the turrets because they actually pile up. You can't kill them fast enough. They just pile up all next to you. And uh, um, it, it, it just doesn't work. Because then you just die once it come, uh, once the turret runs out, you just die. All right, now we're at wave 10, and we get these guys, the, basically the Hulk, the hardest enemy in the game, I believe. Maybe there was one more, but these black and white guys that come out of nowhere are crazy because they go just about as fast as you. The lack of sounds in this game is kind of irritating oh final wave alright we are on the final wave cool is my nuke here I've got zero nukes left on the final wave oh and here it is I was actually wrong this orange guy which looks like a beast is coming at me It's getting kind of crazy. I'm not sure how much longer I could actually live. Oh, oh, I got stuck on the tree. No, bad collision on your part. How do you get stuck on a tree? Anyhow, guys, that's the game. Leave a like, leave your support, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.